Hi, Kiwi. All right, so we're going to play another round of Isaac. I haven't recorded an Isaac video in almost uh, at least two weeks, maybe a month now. No, it can't be a month, but it's been a while. So we'll, we're going to do one attempt at the speed challenge, and then if that goes poorly, we will um, do a regular challenge, a, a less exciting challenge. But I figure I'm starting fresh. Who knows what the uh, seed will give me. It'll give me an untouchable jumping spider. Oh my goodness, this is actually more difficult than I think it should be, but... Uh, oh, <laughs> we're, we're doing great. But here's my item, let's see what we got. Uh, tough love. That can be good. Depends on my luck stat, and I don't really have much luck to start out, so... We'll, we'll hold on to it. Not playing the cleanest. We'll grab this red heart since I've already taken two hits. Uh, the shop is open, so let's pop our head in there. Nothing worth taking, not that that's a surprise. And we're off. So I believe the way the tooth shot works is it just gives me a damage multiplier every time a random tooth happens. But again, the, the occurrence of the tooth is RNG-gated, so may or may not ever see it have an effect on the outcome. Well, we can hope. Alright, so I'm going to get an orbital from this boss, so that's decent. You know, getting a full Meat Boy or uh, Bandage Girl would actually be pretty solid in terms of making the run go pretty well. But nothing short of Potato Peeler is going to have that happen, I think. Well, there goes my Soul Heart, and there goes another half of a Red Heart. Not, not a great start, honestly. I thought I could do that. Honestly, these flies are more of the issue. I'm definitely showing my rust, because I usually never take damage on these bosses, so uh, not a great start for sure, but we got him. Alright, keep the meat, and we are all right, about a minute and a half on this floor. Not the best first floor, but first floors often do not tell you how the rest of the run are going to go, is, is going to go, so we're not going to give up on the run just yet. That'll be useful, because now I can get into this room for free. Uh, anything good? I don't actually know what this power-up does just yet. Dirty mind, filthy friends. I think it makes me... Oh, okay, interesting. So if I destroy poop, I get friends. That could be good, but this will fall off in the later floors where poop is rarer. Oh, dear me. Well, I'm, uh, still running a little slow, so my reaction time is not the most respectful, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm not feeling impressed by this run thus far, and because of the nature of the speedrun challenge, I really am not afforded the time it takes to farm poop. Oh god, that's such a... Sh like, where, in what other game would you even be able to make that comment, you know? Uh, but... We'll see. There will be instances where it helps, I imagine. It's just, it's not an amazing pull. And it's, it's, it's very, very dependent on RNG. And for that reason, I do not think it is going to carry me this run. Gurglings, not a great boss, but not a bad, not a hard, eh, they're a pretty simple boss as long as I remember to move, which I forgot. <laughs> Oh, well, we're off to a great start. Not a surprise. Again, Isaac just... Sadly, Isaac isn't... Isn't the game that I play the best while offering commentary. Frankly, it's not the game I play best even when I'm not offering commentary. But I do it for you because I know this is the game that puts you to sleep. <laughs> but I, I think at some point I'm probably going to switch into Hades because that, that game drives way better with me. Or maybe I'll try uh, Rogue Legacy. I feel like that would be a good one to try. I've never played Rogue, Rogue Legacy before, but I, uh, I remember back in the day, Dunkey used to play it a lot, and I watched his videos of him playing it. Uh, and it looked like a game I would very much enjoy playing. I think it was Dunkey who played that. It may have been uh, Stir. Um, he's an old name. Back when I used to play a lot of TF2, he was... Oops, wow, I'm just not doing great. Um, I used to watch a lot of Stir's work. Um, I think, well, his name was actually Star. His YouTube channel is uh, S-T-E-R underscore, I believe. Um, or no, it was, it, I think the way I found him was, it was Nix? Uh, Nix? Um, I 
think he switched into primarily streaming now. He, uh, YouTube was not a healthy platform for him, and he needed to cut himself off for mental health reasons, and I, I respect that. I, I don't think I'll ever do well as a big content creator. It's, there are too many toxic people out there, and putting yourself in their eye, their direct line of fire by being on YouTube. It, it takes a, it takes, what's the word? It takes some very thick skin to survive on YouTube, I imagine. That or you just turn comments off and don't allow it at all. But um, most people don't do that until after they've done something undefendable <laughs> or indefensible. So hopefully I never get there. I would like to think that I tra uh, follow the straight and narrow, but sadly you never know where you're gonna be in a couple years. I've already found my item room. I am doing this. Oops. All right, let's. Nothing but pills. Not what I need. Need health and I need damage. Those are basically the two things that carry the speedrun challenge. I don't actually know how to deal with this boss because I don't think I've seen this this one before, or not in a long time. Well, if he just merrily stays over there and doesn't cause me a threat, I am fine with that. Like I know his his non. Super variant just fires, leaves uh, green goo that damages and fires exploding bombs. But that does, this guy seems to be a spider variant. Well, all right, we've got meat meat level two. But until I get level three, and especially until I get level four, I'm not sold on this being great. I'm definitely lacking in HP. But if I can pull off a run that uh, hmm, all right, let's let's do this because I have the keys. Uh, not a great room. Kind of a waste. Oh, okay, that's cute. They they become corn poops if, uh, corny dingles. I think, that, I think that's what they're called. They're called dingles. Um, if you, uh, destroy corn poops. Yeah, cute. Yeah, well, I could have dodged that. I definitely could have dodged that. Oh, good, we found our item room. Right. Little Brimstone is doing work, and now we have bigger Brimstone on a two-room cooldown. That might be good. Oh no, I can't tell enemy from friend here. Okay, there were no enemies there. Yeah. Right. I'm, I'm amassing a bit of a horde, which is nice. But I am wasting time doing that, which is the, the concern here. Oh, what? Oh, uh, yeah, the, the downpour rooms do not work well for my brain because I can, I, I legitimately cannot see the holes in the floor very easily at all. I'm not sure if it's my screen's brightness or my lack of attentiveness, but uh, I have an impenetrable wall of poop. They cannot touch me. They touch me. You know, the thing about walls that you use for defense is you need to stand behind them, and I never got that memo, clearly. Uh, anyway. <laughs> anyway. Uh, there's the shop. I don't really have enough I can afford to buy, so we'll keep moving along. Okay, I was about to say, I don't know how I got away without taking damage there, but the answer is I didn't. At least something dropped half a heart, so I'm not completely dead here. Uh, I want to make sure I have at least one brimstone for the boss. But... I, something tells me the item room is in that room we passed, which is unfortunate. But we'll, we'll keep traveling this path for now and see where it takes us. Oh good, I got them both before they came. Caused an issue. Okay, yeah, I was right. Oh wait, no, I've already... Why do I not want to find the item room? <laughs> or why do I find the item room and immediately forgot that I found it? I could have lined that shot up better and done more damage, which is unfortunate. I don't know how he hasn't damaged me yet, but he's, he's directly touched me at least twice now. Or so it seems. Okay, there we go. That's that's what I expected. Alright. I need to turn this off. It's messing with my brain a little bit. A little many two friends, Chub. Okay, well, not a great Chub fight. Not sure why I had so much trouble, but boy, did I. Uh, tears up. Well, uh... Technically a DPS up, but I uh, definitely would like some more damage, more HP, more than tears up right now. Okay, we can probably do something with this room. Oh, forgot there can be more than one. That's close. All right, good. I think this is a bedroom. Yeah, it's a dirty one though, so I should have saved this for the end of the floor. That was a mistake. I guess I can cheat and go down to the next floor immediately. But I really don't feel strong on this run, and it would be better if I could find an item. 
I'm out of bombs, otherwise I would try and bomb this, this tinted rock. But it looks like they give you more dingles on the later floors, which is good. Because, like I mentioned, I imagine it's very difficult to score them up rapidly. Please no. Alright, and this one drops coins here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm close to being able to afford something worth getting out of the uh, item shop. And honestly, if it gives me hearts, it's probably worth taking. So let's go in here and see what we got. I'll take this. Alright. Uh, keep moving along for now. Unfortunate. Not a useful room. Oh, well, I guess I can get some dingle shots. But nah, it wasn't worth the damage I took in here. Come, my little poop army. Let us... I should be using my spacebar more often. Except I somehow failed how to figure... <laughs> I forgot that I have to activate it by shooting. Alright, well, I did use it, and I took two damage in the process. Not a, not, not a clean room at all. The tower we can probably use to wipe out Mom really quick if we play it right. Or maybe I should save it for Mom's heart and hope that I don't die. Apple of Sodom. Not a great room. I'm gonna, I want to wipe those out quick. Alright, uh... Trickle charge? Yeah. I think we'll take that. I forget what it does exactly, but anything that makes me charge this up faster is probably worth taking. Alright, I was able to clear out one of the bonies as soon as it spawned, which is good, because those guys really give me a lot of trouble on the speed challenge. Alright. We're making reasonable progress, but I am having terrible room RNG. Still zero luck stat. Alright. Still haven't found my item room either. Oh, this is a fun arrangement here. Man, if that's what it is sped up, I can't imagine how slow this room is on normal speed. Alright, yeah, I'm really lacking in damage and HP. This, this run has not provided me much, and I'm having, like, the worst map arrangement RNG on this, this floor specifically. Alright, I thankfully didn't take any damage there. Let's grab that penny. And please give me something worth using. Big Chubby. Well, he is damaged, so he's not the worst, but he's by far not the best either. Alright. We'll have to use him wisely. Oh, we got Get the monster. Ah, too fast. I should have waited for him to use his brimstone so I could get a free hit. Oh well. We got some damage. He is jumping way too fast. Wow. Really, he jumps way too fast in this. And he does a lot of damage. Er, well, I mean, I I'm the one taking a lot of damage from him. But he becomes a lot more difficult when he moves this fast. Wow. Now I know. Yeah, I'm making terrible time, and I'm taking him all of his damage that was avoidable. Alright, well, that's the speed challenge for today. Let's do an actual challenge with a chance of victory. Uh, solar system, cat got your tongue, cursed beans. Let's do cat got your tongue. So, speaking of the cats, they all got holiday hats for Christmas, and so, uh, my, my mom being who she be, can I actually, I can't actually clear this room, can I? Huh. Alright, well, I guess what we're gonna do, wait, can I, I can fly. <laughs> well, that, that's awkward. <laughs> we're fine. We're totally fine. Alright, I can't, can I? No, that doesn't work on fires. Alright. Wow, I have a lot of hearts um, starting out. So I guess there's no harm in checking these rooms out. <laughs> I'd say that's a net positive. Um, yeah, so I guess the gimmick of this run is I do not have any form of damage other than my flies and my guppy's hairball. So I'll have to be careful about that, because if I use up all my flies on trash mobs like in this room, I will not have them for when I really need them on the boss. I also need to hope I luck into something that gives me a key, uh, keys on fast order because my goodness, I'm going to be needing them a lot for these, uh, these g golden chests that I keep finding. No keys here, and I really don't need the extra heart. So yeah, I don't think we're taking anything there. It's nice. <laughs> I have to say, coming into this off of the speed challenge, I just feel immensely slow. Like, it, it, it's painful how slow I am. 
just trying to smack them with the hairball ain't easy. There we go. Alright. I'm gonna hold this until I know that... Okay, we're, I wanted to make sure that I could use all of my... Oh, dearie me. No wonder you start so much, with so much HP on this fight. Or on, on, on this challenge, because... It, using Guppy's hairball effectively takes some learning. This is not going to be fun against very mobile bosses. I can already feel that. Alright, there is a trick to this. I just need to figure it out. I feel like small circles are, is the key. But, uh... I forget if Guppy's hairball does more damage the, uh, the more it hits. Like it, it definitely gets bigger, so I presume it also damage, it gets damage up. And here I thought this was going to be an easy one, because Guppy. But, you know, Guppy's strength comes from being able to shoot, which I do not have. Okay, damage up. At least my flies will hurt more. Uh, Alright, I need to be on the lookout for keys. <clears throat> arcade. What can I get from the arcade? Nothing amazing. I could try playing with the coin beggar. I could also cheese, get a whole lot of flies out of this with the charge beggar, but I think I'll, for now I'll play it safe. Just do small circles and swing my hairball at them. This game really makes me say things that just out of context you would not understand. Frankly, in context they also are kind of incomprehensible to a degree. <laughs> But this is going to be a challenging one, actually. I I thought it would be easy. I am repenting that that assumption. Well, I'm officially out of black hearts. But because of how big it is, this just got a lot easier. I, I think I can manage the, the hairball a little bit more cleanly now. Just because of how big it is. That said, I sacrificed a lot of HP on the way to this position. There was a blood bank in here. Let's go hit that up real quick. And then maybe I'll try the Coin Beggar and hope for, um, Lucky Penny, that's nice. I'll try for a HP up that he can give. Or maybe I hold this for a shop. I think I'll hold it for a shop for now unless I get more keys. Actually, the Coin Beggar can pay out in keys. I think he's the right call. Let's do it. What will you give me? A bomb? Okay. I have a lot of bombs. I could roll for the bomb beggar. For now, we'll uh, stick to this, though. Alright, the bean. Two down command. Probably the worst possible outcome we could have gotten from that. Oh well. I think I'll uh, continue to just count on the blood bank. I, I think I'm at a point where, with how huge Guppy's hairball is, I should have a reasonable chance of... Um, being able to reliably DPS with it. But let's see. Anyway, there was something I was talking about. Oh right, Christmas hats for the cats. So, all of the cats got really stupid little hats. Um, and the best part was I found my Sonic hat when I visited home. It was from a promotion for, uh, I think, Sonic Colors when it came out for the Wii. And so, we got an excellent photo of me and my Sonic hat being stupid and shame. Lame. Stupid and shameless in my Sonic hat while holding the cats who look absolutely so unhappy about the situation, um, wearing their uh, their Christmas hat. So uh, our little calico Toppy, she was wearing a I think it's mistletoe themed. It has like a little. <laughs> it makes her look like a Pikmin, honestly. She has a uh, a little sprout coming off her off of her head with um, with leaves hanging off of it. And then uh, Gnocchi had a peppermint, a hat that has like a piece of peppermint that comes through the top. Alright, thank goodness that bomb hit the spider because I don't think I would be able to deal with these guys, uh, deal with the spiders with Guppy's hairball very reliably. Uh, I would have tried to push that into the bomb, but you know what? I can fly, so it doesn't actually matter. Alright, that fly is dead, and then we just have this guy over here. So we can get shops, but we cannot get item rooms on this challenge, which makes sense. I imagine there are a lot of things that are pulled out of the challenge because you don't get... I still have not gotten a single key. Wow. Alright, what are the chances this is bombs or key? Hell. That was not what I wanted. Unfortunate. So there's a bomb and a coin in this room, so let's go pick those up still. Or maybe it hasn't updated. 
the map says there is, but there is not. Alright, boss room. Man, it, it's funny, this challenge has not given me a single key, but I'm running a build that gives me every reason to need them. Alright. Yeah, this has a wider arc now, so I think I can pretty reliably handle him uh, if I just... small circles. How are we gonna do Mom's heart with this? Oh, we only have to beat Mom. Still, how are we gonna do Mom with this? I guess she's stationary in a lot of instances, so we're probably fine. Alright, HP up, nice. Pentagram and Dark Bum. Dark Bum might be pretty decent here. Okay, not an easy enemy to deal with. So, I don't think I want the damage up, but I will take Dark Bum. It gives us double precedent, and uh, I think I will benefit more from Soul Hearts here anyway, potentially. I could very be wrong. I could be very wrong. Oh, wow. That couldn't have gone worse. Uh, I'm flying. This doesn't matter, actually. So I think I have a passive that makes flies spawn when I get kills. Maybe it's the hairball. Maybe when the hairball kills, it gives me flies. Or, you know what? It might just be the standard Guppy passive because I'm dealing damage. Our first key! We made it to the third floor with our and finally got our first key. Let's check out the shop. Mama Mega. Okay. I think I need the Soul Heart. I mean, this is a key, right? I, I take damage and it unlocks something. I don't think it's worth it. I'm a little starved for HP right now. I think Mama Mega opens up every door on the on the floor. I honestly may take that just to hopefully ease myself through the uh, the rest of the floor. Even though I did find the boss room, I think full clear here is appropriate. So yeah, let, let's take Mama Mega. We'll pop her, and let's go see if there's any. Let's see what rewards I earn for using the Mama Mega. Maybe I can just store up. Yeah, I can store up a bunch of flies this way. So. Finally, we're, we're actually getting keys, like all of the keys that I should have gotten on the rest of this run I found, I'm getting now. Oh, perfect, a library. Is that Book of Belial, not worth it. Yara, worth it. Hangman, not worth it. All right, so we'll take Yara, we'll uh, grab this. But yeah, I'm gonna be able to stock up a bunch of flies doing this, so it's sort of worth it. Some coins and a bomb, not amazing. All right, let's see what's in this chest. Oh, perfect, some potential soul hearts. Cool. Two extra HP, we'll take that. And Dark Bomb got a meal. Moving along, moving along. Alright. Secret room to our south. Ooh, I don't actually know what this item is. Keeper's box, portable shop. Oh, interesting. It's a cool item, but I don't think it's worth... I don't think it fits this build too well, so... Uh... I do have the money, but I don't know what it guarantees me. Alright. Yeah, I, I definitely think pulling Mama Mega here was the right call, though, because she is uh, letting me... <laughs> giving me a ton of free power creep, just accumulating all of these flies. Okay, what's this card do? High Priestess, run. I don't like the sounds of that, so I'm going to leave it behind and stick with Yara. Because if nothing else, like if I find a Soul Heart room, I can grab a Soul Heart. Alright, I'm going to take this for the double chance, I didn't get anything, and now I'm going to use up all my flies on the challenge room. But honestly, it's it's kind of fine. Especially if I get anything worth having out of this room, which I guarantee you I will not, but... Woo, a penny! It was definitely worth it! Hooray. Uh, <laughs> I guess I could have yared that room, but it's a good thing I didn't, because it would have just been all of the bombs. <laughs> Alright, uh, so on to the next... Ugh. Forgot that was gonna go off. Right. Okay. Cool, exactly what I need. More tears on a build where I can't shoot tears. Next floor. <laughs> At least they made it so you only have to get to mom for this, because my goodness, can you imagine having to do this challenge? Uh, you know what, I should use the devil beggar here. That does mean I have to try and pick up all the red hearts on this floor before Dark Bomb does. But we'll see where we get to. So actually, you are a coin beggar. We'll pay this one out too and see what it gives us. Oh, well, some HP. Does that heal me? It does heal me. Alright. Keep playing the double beggar. 
Alright, missing page two, so that's free black hearts when I get hit, I believe. Uh, so... I really probably don't need to do this, but I'm gonna do it because I barely have any red hearts. And I'm feeling relatively tanky with my current arrangements, so... I'm gonna play a little risky and hopefully not receive penance for it down the road. These guys are particularly hard to deal with because they attack fast and I cannot easily get in range of them. Alright, you guys just shoot bombs, so I should be able to keep my distance and smack you. Yeah. There, there's definitely an art to using this uh, orbital correctly. That almost looked convincing, but I did take the damage, so I'm not calling it a flat win. Oh, sounds like a cat just fell off the bed or something. It was quite the loud thunk. Or maybe you're awake. Oops, I somehow managed not to pick that up. Strength card is pretty good. I'll save... Oh, goodness, this is a busy room. I wonder if... I assume Guppy's hairball does scale with your damage, so... Oh, well, that might have been the optimal... Honestly, that taking damage there might have been the optimal play there. Because <laughs> clearing this many enemies with a orbital like this is not easy. I really wish I had tears so I could clear that fly away because it's, I'm probably going to fly into it again. Well, it sounds like whoever fell woke you up because I hear you going to the bathroom. <laughs> oh my goodness. Aren't our cats just the best? Fully functioning living creatures that could survive on their own for sure. Alright, not ideal. I definitely could have gotten away without taking damage there, but I'm not going to risk the c picking up the coins for that I probably won't honestly even get to use on this run. There is one more item room, and it's or one more store, rather, and we'll see what we get here. Yep. There's probably a better way to use this. I just... Maybe... Maybe this is it. Just kind of rock it back and forth. Still kind of like what I'm already doing, little circles. Alright, we'll go to the left and then we'll check out the shop. Alright, this is a much more, uh, a much busier path than I expected, so maybe not. We'll do the shop first. Anything, anything at all? Walnut, it's hard to crack. Nope. I think that uh, gives me an item if I get hit. Uh, by explosive specifically. Alright, well, soul heart, we'll take that. Anything? Nope. Not ideal. At least we can deal some damage with uh, Guppy's head with the flies. Alright, good damage there. It feels like for me to use this item correctly I have to get hit, and I know that's not how it is, but I'm just not good enough to do it reliably. Are we on... we're on Catacombs too, so this is actually the final floor of the challenge, so... I should probably focus on not taking damage, because I'm going to take a lot of damage once I actually get into the mom fight. I do think the strength card is probably the right call for this. Honestly, I'm gonna bomb out of here. I don't think that room is worth doing. It connects to nothing, and it's just a risk of taking damage. Try and kill these flies. Alright. Good hit on them. Flies take out another one. Let's see if I can orbital this. Sort of, but not not enough. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Well, almost got him. <laughs> oh man, this must be painful to watch. I am sorry. But the good news is, is as long as I really don't screw up horribly in the next room, the run will be complete and we can check it off the list to never be seen again. Here we go! Wait, what? Catacombs too, right? Am I... Oh no. I have two more floors to do. I think. I'm a little lost and confused. Well, no time to get distracted. Oh man, this is... This guy spawns bombs. This isn't good. Alright. <laughs> I hate this. There's no way to kill these bombs without getting hit. Alright. I think this run is dead. Why 
This is, why don't you have a cap for how many of these monsters you can spawn? Well, I got some HP, I guess. Dark Bomb, I really needed those. Thank you for the spider, but that was not worth it. Okay, so as it turns out, Dark Bomb was the wrong call. And it just gets better. Okay. I guess I can do some damage here. I think the Black Heart. I'm inevitably just going to get hit by his Brimstone and kill him with, with uh, revenge damage, but... <sighs> Why aren't we at... I... I may have really messed up. I mentally thought this was the last floor. Oh. Oh. If I somehow make it through the entirety of the Krampus fight without taking damage, that is something worth celebrating, because that shouldn't have happened. Alright. Dark Bomb actually paying out with an HP. Alright, on to the next floor. So we've got, we've got two whole floors more to go. For some reason, I thought we were on the depths. I don't think this is worth it. I thought I was free. Oh goodness, we have more to do. Not gonna lie, this is not one of my favorite challenges. <laughs> I'm just, I'm clearly not that great at using the hairball. And it is, uh... Not going well. <laughs> Hopefully I can find another shop. Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to kill that without flies. Oh thank goodness it's dead. I really... I'm not feeling this run, man. <laughs> Alright, we found the shop, which is good. Uh, I guess we'll take the key. And we'll take the free guppy shot. And we'll take the bomb. You know, that's probably the strategy, honestly. Beat mom with... with uh... Well, okay. Neither of these are... Great, got a key, cool. Alright. Unfortunately, the devil deal here is not a great deal, and definitely not worth losing HP over, because neither of those really helped me out with with this build. I don't need penetrating shots because I cannot shoot. These are the worst possible enemy to come across in this run, in terms of fly preservation, because they just run into the face of the enemy, and they, the enemy doesn't take damage because of how they work. We're just going to make this... We're going to do our best to make this work. I think we activate the strength card in the boss room. A shame we couldn't use Yara, but not a surprise. Oh, well. The devil. No, I'm going to stick with strength because I think I'll need the... It, it gives me the two things I need most for this challenge right now. HP and, and damage. It does make me bigger. But that might actually make it easier for me to swing uh, the hairball around without getting hit. Well... It seems I have chosen the entirely incorrect path. I do wish that the hairball did a little bit more damage than it's currently doing. Let's see if I can get a hit on these before they become big. Alright, he can't have that much HP left. Alright. Swing and a miss. Alright, there we go. Oh, he dropped a bomb. Uh, dropped a spawner. Alright, cool. More tears and tears shot speed up. Exactly what we need on this run. <laughs> In typical fashion, Isaac is being an absolute jerk to me. But, alright, I'm flying so I don't have to worry about taking damage. There go all of our flies. But it's basically a free pass on this room. Eh, sure, why not? Okay, you know what? Speed up is actually really beneficial to this. Okay, I could have avoided that. Okay, I took far too much damage in this room, and none of it was necessary. Well, I can get out if I want to. But I don't, because I can't. Death. Oh, wait, I, I saw right as I was about to run into it that that was a trap. <sighs> okay. I still haven't... F I did find the shop on this floor, so... All, all hope is dead. Oh, this is an awful boss to have to cont- Oh, there are two of them. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching. This video is over. I do not see a future where I beat this boss without dying. Especially two of them. The game was just mean. I don't think they have the homing brim shot, uh, brimstone shot, but... 
I just, nothing on this run gave me what I needed. I think I'm gonna pop this here. Yeah, I would have I would have lost the run if I hadn't popped that there. Okay. I have a chance, but I'm I think the odds of me completing this are next to nothing. Okay. One more hit. I think we got him. As soon as he stops, the flies will hit him and Okay. Damage up. And, well, there's our luck. <sighs> I, uh... This run is not dead. It's living on a prayer, and it's probably going to run out of life in the next room. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Oh, hey, look, it's all the keys that we didn't have on the first floor. Oh, look, it's all the bombs we did have on the first floor. <laughs> This game does not make sense to me, I swear. How can it possibly be this spiteful and get away with it? Alright, I really need some form of healing. I am error? You know, I knew this was going to be a mistake and I still went with it. I am infallible. <sighs> well... Would we expect, expect anything less from an Isaac video upon my return to making Isaac videos? I sure didn't. Well, with all that said, I hope you're sleeping well. If you're awake, I hope you enjoyed watching another <laughs> series of Isaac failures. <laughs> I'm really just... this game is... Uh, well, I love you, Kiwi. I hope you enjoyed it for what it was worth. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>